having those one's needs and desires in the back of your mind um and one foot in one foot out relationship it's like a decision that you've got to make that's what commitment is <laughs> i mean you know if you're going to go for your one's needs and desires and you choose that that's a commitment i mean you're then going to commit to go out there and hope for the rest of your life that in some way or another your one's needs and desires will come true will be gifted by the universe will come your way by some miracle by some magic um or i mean you're going to make a decision to commit yourself to you within awareness within a relationship with yourself a process where you're going to create you where you're going to create a relationship where you're going to create your life where you are in fact the directive principle i mean that is something quite amazing that is possible for human beings if they would just give up their minds wants needs and desires and commit to creating a life a self a relationship uh, in this real world you know so in interviews to come we're going to have a look in more detail you know how to assist and support self with us because a lot of people in relationships self relationship process relationship struggle with this word commitment and we're going to have a look at redefining it you know because many might for example say but ah, you know you saying i can't get my wants my needs my desires what else am i without those things i can tell you your wants needs and desires exist inside your mind because you've never learned what it means to create your own life your own self and your own relationships i mean the more and more you start aligning your focus your attention your um your discipline that effort into building yourself your life your relationships you'll find your wants needs and desires in the mind slowly but surely start releasing you realize more and more and more how unrealistic that always in fact been and how much more realistic you can make your life and living experience through you in fact creating it all right So we're going to get past and through this point of commitment and I mean obviously I have a look at what it means in all facets of life in all phases and stages of relationships um because I mean you know where we can eventually get to a point within humanity you know when individuals decide to have a relationship that already from the get go the context of commitment is understood and you know what is really involved within that commitment in building and creating a relationship um and not just have relationships any more happen to you all right we'll continue more in interviews to come thank you very much